A long time ago, there was a young Haudenosaunee girl whose name was Morning Star, called so because her face was bright and she was always up early in the morning. She lived with her father, Chief Little Wolf, in a wigwam by the river, and every day she would get up with the sun, run down to the banks, and collect the fish she trapped in baskets she set the night before. Morning Star would take the fish home and cook them over coals for her father's breakfast before he would go out on hunts. As the sun set, Morning Star would return to the river with her large baskets and fasten them between the rocks so the fish may catch themselves, before spending the evening with her father, listening to his stories about the hunt. Morning Star? Yes, father? Have you set your baskets for tomorrow? Yes, father. I think we will have a great breakfast waiting for us in the morning. I cannot wait. Fish are my favorite. They are mine as well. Did you see any joga o? Father, why would they come for our fish? Because the fish are their friends, and once the fairies find out you've been capturing them, they will do all they can to free every last one. Our fish will be waiting for us tomorrow morning. Morning Star went to bed soon after, firm in her belief that her breakfast would be waiting for them. That night, as the bright hunter's moon hung in the sky, the Jogao came upon the girls' baskets. The earth children rarely saw these spirits, but knew very well they guarded the vast rivers and all the creatures within. They navigated the waters in small canoes, searching for trapped fish and would free them. And when they found Morning Star's baskets, they did just that. They cut the bottoms off, ensuring their friends escaped. As the sun rose, so did Morning Star, and soon she was running through the woods toward the river. When she arrived, she turned her face to the sky and sang praises to the glorious sun before looking at her baskets. She couldn't believe her eyes. She watched in wonder as the Jogao played and danced with the fish. More astonishing still was their little dance. It was similar to one she knew, so she moved closer to join them. She began to sing and dance with the fairies. They were cautious at first, but allowed her to join when their little chief smiled at her. They sang and danced for quite some time before Morning Star remembered she needed to get fish for her father's breakfast. As she moved toward her baskets, she realized what the Jogo had done. My fish! They are not your fish. I caught them and you freed them. They are not yours to catch. But we have them for breakfast every morning. You will not have any this morning. Morning Star attempted to catch fish for her father, but every one she caught, the Jogao stole back. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Don't you understand that fish, like Haudenosaunee girls, like to be alive? But father will be so disappointed if I don't bring him fish for his breakfast. Then your father does not deserve to be a chief. <laughs> Before Morning Star could reply, they disappeared. She looked at the river, saw how happily the fish leapt about, and understood that they were no different than she was. Morning Star went to the river and collected her baskets to the laughter of the fairies. On her walk back, she worried about what her father would say, but resolved to tell him what had happened and make corn cakes instead. Once there, she set her baskets down. Where have you been? I was starting to get worried. Father, I saw the joga o. You did? Yes. I even danced and sang with them. Wonderful. They surely saw the goodness in your heart. Father? Yes? There aren't any fish today. No, not if the joga o came. What will we do? I will make us corn cakes. I think corn cakes are just as delicious as fish. So do I. Do you know what I learned from playing with them this morning? Tell me. Fish, like Haudenosaunee girls, like to be alive. 